And there's something called the Milrose Games. Uh-huh. It's a very, very special meet. It's hard to get into whether you run a relay. Actually, there's a couple of guys. Uh, where, where's the uh, young man from Red Bank Catholic? Okay. You ran in the Milrose. Four by eight. Exciting. Okay. How, how, what, what else? Really loud. You're in the garden. Now, back in 1993, there were 19,000 people in the seats, and it was the high school mile. And there was a lot of highly touted individuals in there, and there was one lone re- representative from New York City. And that runner was Kevin Jermaine. And I remember, yep, Coach Jermaine. I gotta tell you, I've never seen such a fierce competitor. Probably why we're still good friends to this day, because I'm the same way. I'm a fierce competitor. My guys will tell you that. My barrel lions over there. Okay? So does this guy, I think it was it Brad Wilkerson? Say it? Brian. Brian. From from, uh, from California. He was like, you know, you know, supposed to be the, the, the foregone conclusion that he was gonna win, this, that, and the other, and race goes out and Kevin bides his time running very smartly on the 160-yard bank board track, 11 laps to the mile. Moves up smartly after the 400. He's in good position at 800. He gives himself an opportunity in the race, and that's all you guys can ever, that's all a coach can ask him to do. Give himself an opportunity to win the race. And the place in the last two laps was as loud as even when the great Eamon Coughlin or Bernard Lagat was winning the Wanamaker Mile. And you see this little guy, this fierce competitor from Staten Island, New York, Sideman Avenue, driving, and Wilkerson, he's going to win the race. He's going to win the race. So he's got a gap on Kevin Germain. Kevin looks like he shot out of a cannon with about, oh, geez, it had to be 130 meters ago, driving all the way, coming off the turn. And th- th- those turns are so small. And Wilkinson is going to win. Everybody's going crazy. Boom, boom, boom. And this is the finish line. And someone with a white singlet with Tottenville across the front, purple shorts, goes across the line. And I, Kev, I'd like to say you got your hands in front of you, but I think you landed on your chin. And that's when that's when the board track at the Garden was was actually wood. It's a pretty fast track. And the 1993 Millrose Games champion was Kevin Jermaine. By the way, as far as I know, at, at the high school level, the varsity level, his junior and senior year, he never lost a race, certainly on the track. Maybe, maybe cross country, he got tuned up a little bit. But two, two, two or three time national champion, multiple state champion, one all sorts of New York City champion. And that's, um, and that's Kevin Germain. Now, I'm gonna, we're going to work on your central nervous system a little bit. And when I count to three, you guys are going to clap twice. I'll do a demo. Okay. <laughs> when I count to three, you're gonna clap. One, two, three. Excellent. Okay. At Barrel, we do we do a lot of that. We do a lot of that. And right now, we're gonna show our appreciation. It's a way that we show appreciation for our teammates. We're gonna show appreciation for our counselors. When I say their name, you will clap twice. Ready? One, two, three. Okay, but now when I say their name, you'll do it. Ready? Spo! Brandon Pearson. Bo Wagner. Andrew Brugnour. Smalls. Same person. Oh, some jocularity into you. Matt Richardson. Liz Ward. Chrissy Nagel. Shane Borg. Morgan Dedeke. Got it right? Deep down. <laughs> Anna. 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 Because she has three names. <laughs> Ashley Brasavan. Esther Vermeer. Mason Kathy. Did I get everybody? Did I get all the, all the counselors? <laughs> Give yourself a round of applause. <laughs> Give yourself a 
yourself a round of applause. <laughs> you know, as, as distance runners, as distance runners, sometimes we're a little, little shy, sometimes a little too shy, okay? You, you are now, you are now in one of the greatest circle of friends you're ever going to have. And Kevin was right earlier, I, I had made a gesture, and I, I, I speak at four or five camps uh, during the summer, um, and we meet people and we know people, and we want to bring them into our culture of excellence at Monsignor Farrell. And AJ and James decided, uh, you know, we said, listen, you want to come up for, Easter, uh, for Christmas break, come on down. Um, uh, my guys put them up, but we traveled to New York City, they went to New York Times, went to Statue of Liberty, they ran in the armory in New York City, um, uh, did I say Times Square? Times Square, just great stuff. Now, let me tell you how good this circle of friends is, okay? It's very, very impressive, this circle of friends. Coach Jermaine has put together something amazing. We'll do, and we'll do the two-clap thing again. Ready? Here's who's represented at this camp. North Carolina, South Carolina, California, Florida, Alabama, Colorado, Maryland, Illinois, Virginia, New Jersey, Tennessee, Vermont, Arkansas, West Virginia, Texas, Ohio, Georgia, Pennsylvania, Kentucky, Louisiana, and the great state of New York. That's 21 states that... Did I get everybody? Oh, no, no. Last time I, we've done a lot of invading. Oh, we, we, we're not, Germany's not part of the United States yet. <laughs> in, in, in addition, listen, when, when I do my homework, I do it well. In addition, we have registered for the camp, Belgium, Canada, and Germany. <laughs> So as I'm doing my thing up here, I'm going to need you to think outside the box, and I need you to think how tough is tough. How tough. I may call upon you sometime in the next half hour or so to help me out. So I need you to think the story of what is tough. Work out. Was it climbing up the, uh, the hills over here in the Duke Forest? I may ask you to be part of the speech to tell me how tough is tough. Because there's another study out there that tells us that this particular generation of teenagers, and I know we have a few preteens, you know, that you guys are not tough. So you need someone, you need someone to tell you that you are tough. But once again, can't fool yourself. All right? For those people jotting things down, it's quote time. I'm going to teach you some four-letter words. Work is the weapon of honor. He who lacks the weapon will never triumph. Work is the weapon of honor. He who lacks the weapon will never triumph. Okay? Can you go one more time? I'll say it again. Okay. So the four letter word is work. So work, we want to give you as many tools, and in war, we need weapons. So athletically, I like to draw the analogy that our racing, our competition, is like a war. So you need weapons. If you go into battle without weapons, you're going to be defenseless. Like some people, and listen to this part, because you're going to know some people like this. Some people are going to step to their first race this cross country season, and they're going to be ill prepared because they didn't work out. Okay? They're going to think, I can play all summer, I have some talent. That, that's a crazy thing. You have talent, not, not actually crazy before it took hard work. You need to work at it, you know, no matter what it is. And in this case, we're talking about running. 